with many more powers over alcohol, it points people towards a disease model. And I know you're very much aware of how the 12 steps and the self-help movement and stuff like that promote this idea that, you know, the, the alcoholism or the drug use is a disease that we have to cope with. And finding hope in Christ and believing that we have sin problems that drive these things, I think, is such a game changer because it brings real hope where the disease model does not. And even if people can stay sober on the 12 steps, I don't know that there's what the success rates are, but I do know that there are some people who can stay sober but I always think of Mark eight thirty six, which says, for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? And so to find sobriety in the 12 steps without Christ, you might gain the whole world. You might have a good life here, but you're forfeiting your soul if you don't know Jesus. So that would be my first loving critique of step one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you say it in a very gentle and kind way.